quick moves. Good evening. This is Doug Rubber with a breaking news report. Mad Marl and his gang of can-cans are at it again. A robbery and kidnapping has taken place at North Peace Credit Union in Fort Nelson. Reports indicate that the branch manager is being held for ransom after the gang's daring daylight stick-up. This just in. We're now being told that the robbery was just part of the 2010 rendezvous events. All around town, people are taking part in this winter celebration. Let's go to our roving news reporter, Annette Garner-Lowe, for the scoop. We're here today at the 2010 Trapper's Rendezvous in Fort Nelson, B.C. A beautiful place to be. The weather is gorgeous. For the events, as you see behind you, we have a log saw going on. We have um, the hand games demonstration, which was just fantastic with the drum beats and the people getting involved. Uh, uh, the fry pan toss, we have three different weights, a uh, men's weight, a woman's weight, and a youth's weight. And they, again, try to go the longest distance with that fry pan. It's a real technique and uh, hoisting strategy that we see there. Uh, and then across the little field, we had a snow shoe race. And we saw some uh, youth, we saw some men, and we saw some ladies, and we saw a few masters get in there. The ice sculpture competition, Every year it gets better and better and the, the artists uh, have more quality in their work. And this year it, it's a sight for the eyes, it's beautiful, breathtaking. They take the ice from the Fort Nelson River and beautiful ice it is. It's, it's so clear and crystal clear and it has uh, uh, markings of its own in there and the artist draws that out. What we've taken on today is we do a dog weight pull. The competitors, which are dogs of all shapes and sizes, in three categories and they hoist them on to a sled and they pull dog food. They start with the sled empty and then they progress from one bag of dog food to two bags of dog food. So this year we had a record-breaking 504 pounds pulled by a dog. Friday night we began with a family dance which was for families and um, what we saw was a younger crowd there so we provided dinner, started at 5.30 till 8. We had dinner, we had um, the dress-up competition and the dance for the younger crowd. Then we opened up a drum dance. At the, it was an outdoor drum dance at the park. I call it the park, and everyone knows where the park is now. And uh, that was for the older crowd. That was, a, again, a family event. And that went on until just after 9 o'clock. Then the adult dance where we saw the rowdy revelers and the can cankerous old coots having a brew ski or two side by side and standing up on the dance floor. The dance floor was crowded. The, the place where we had it was a shop because we don't have our community hall up just yet. It was crowded. There was only standing room only. It was a fantastic event and people enjoyed till the wee hours. The variety show I think is my favorite event of the whole whole uh, rendezvous. We uh, begin off on Wednesday night and it's a variety night because it's a little bit of variety of everyone. It uh, begins with um, an introduction and an opening. We, we had an opening prayer by a, a wonderful woman by Rosemary McLeod and she wrote that specifically for the opening of the rendezvous. Then we progress to um, the Aurora Dancers which is a, a local dance group with beautiful young ladies dancing and in, in such synchronicity it was, it was fantastic, it was a delight for our eyes. We had some uh, gentlemen in our crowd doing the renditions of Robert's service. So we had Tom Lowe, which I've just heard rave reviews about. Uh, there was such passion in his words and he, and he really felt and lived the words that he spoke. I've heard some fantastic reviews of that. And of course myself, I get up there and I just, that, that art, that performer comes out in me and I, I love the stage, 
We had a fantastic audience. They were so welcoming. They came up on stage to dance the two-step. They danced the jig with us, and they partaked, partook in the auction, which we had uh, some fa fantastic fur tails and some furs and some boas. And it was, overall, it was a fantastic evening. We had a bank heist and a kidnapping happened at the credit union. And boy, that Mad Marl and his can-cans got away in their blue bus. They drove around town with the police in hot pursuit, going circles around the intersections. Everyone was wondering what was going on. It was such a hoot. Then they stopped at Gold Fever. There was a beautiful diamond ring there, huge, as big as a pumpkin or bigger. And they got that beautiful big pumpkin diamond and they escaped into his blue bus only to be taken by the RCMP. Those girls were latched up and Marl took off and the girls were taken away in the, with the boys in blue. Then he reformed. Overnight, Doug, he reformed. And he became the sheriff in the jail and bail. I don't know how he managed that, but he was the sheriff that day with his deputy and they arrested many folks that next day, the fine Friday afternoon. There were people who were arrested out of their establishments with surprise on their face. They had to pay millions of dollars to get out of this jail. The number of volunteers, I would say, range from uh, probably 40 to 100 volunteers to take on the different events. And the time that I put into it, um, for the past month, it's been almost a full-time job. And before that, it's a, it's a good six months of planning. But we start now. The, I, I will start now recruiting volunteers to see if they are willing to do what they did last year. And if they are, and if they're willing to take on a little bit more, it just makes our rendezvous so much better. Because um, when one person takes on an event and they own it, I'm not there to tell them how to do it. I give them guidance when they ask for it, but it's theirs to own and theirs to take on and it evolves. So when somebody does agree, it's a, certainly a valuable part to add to our community. Awards are very much a part of what we do. Recognition for all the competitors and the contests that we have. The award ceremonies, you do not want to miss that, Doug. It's a place to be at to uh, give uh, recognition to all the work everyone has done. I'd like to thank all of our sponsors for bringing this event to Fort Nelson. Each of the children, the mothers, the fathers, the aunts and the uncles that come to this event, it makes them stronger and it makes our community richer. Thank you very much to all our sponsors. It's, it's great to have you in our community and it's great to have you involved in this spectacular winter festival. When I took this winter festival planning on, I never dreamed it would evolve to the stage it is. And one of the things that I love most of it is it brings together people from all sectors, all sizes and shapes and denominations, races, colors, preferences, a little bit of something for everyone. And I have to admit, when I walked over here this morning, I was very choked up because I saw all the families out enjoying the day and it was such a wonderful thing to see, is our family coming together. And like I said, all races, all sizes, fantastic. It's what I love most of it. And that'll keep me planning it again and again for as long as I have the energy. As you can see, Rendezvous provides a midwinter break for the town of Fort Nelson. And if you ain't living in Fort Nelson, you ain't living. This is Doug Roper with another Fort Nelson Community Update.